You know, I'm not scared because I know Bible says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Thank God I was home that night. That's the only way I can say. Thank God I was home that night. Thank God I did not go to the basement. If not, death will not be your portion. What I'm telling you is serious. It's very serious. I'm going to welcome her. She's here. We'll give a testimony together and thank God specially for what the devil intended to do. But I know they are failed in Jesus' name. Can you put the program for me, Jehovah Tibera? Please, if you are a member here, I know most of you, your work schedule can be very crazy at times. I understand that. But you can do everything you can because this program, I had God during my 21 days fast and I had him, I had the name Jehovah Tibera. Like, what is the what's the it says a program is a prayer program now it is not tied to the members of this church only you can invite anybody they don't need to be an omega children it is a program that is open for anybody it's starting on the first of july from 7 p.m to 9 p.m every day 10 days and if you know you are going to under some demonic attacks in your family demons are harassing your life this program god will put an end to every embarrassment in your life in the name of jesus we are entering the half of the year beginning from the first of july and that is the very good way to start the remaining six months that whatever needed to manifest in your life this remaining six months as we wait upon the lord in the place of prayer it shall manifest in a hurry that amen is sick it shall manifest in a hurry and hear this hear this anyone that is not happy with your testimony this month of july as we enter the place of prayer they shall go down for your rising hallelujah i came here very very can can they have the volume of this year i came here very very angrily this morning hallelujah because i did not i wanted to rest say ah let me rest but the devil is a bastard hallelujah stand on your feet let's take this song together choir you help me you know i'm not a good singer you are jehovah you are jehovah you are a mighty man on battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of all. Come on, open your mouth. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Come on, You are. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man. Come on, come on, come on. You are Jehovah. I say, you are Jehovah. Come on. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are.
Listen to me. Today is your first time of coming. You have not been here before. Can I, can I see your hands up? Today is your first time of coming. This is your first time to be here or second Sunday. Is anybody like that? Okay. Now listen. If God is involved in your battle, hear this. For those of you who think God is not answering your prayers, or those of you who think situation is not, is not pleasant to you, hear this prophecy. Listen. If God is involved in your battle, so, if God is involved in your matter, no matter how tensed it looks like, you will come out alive. Amen. Is somebody hearing me now? No matter how tensed, no matter how demonic, no matter how 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 powerful it is, the battle may look like you will come out alive. Amen. Is somebody hearing me today? Yes, we are going to sing this song in a militant way faster. I want you to move your leg. You can leave your seat if you will. Is somebody hearing me now? I hear the choir. Come on. You, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Hey, 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 Call him for me, please. There's something God showed to me. Every arrow targeted at him from his background. Every arrow of death targeted at him Amen. is frustrated by fire. Yes, Amen. Lord. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not happy the way you're responding to me. Lift your hands. Listen to me. Anyone that is not happy with your face, in the name of this week they'll go down. Is someone hearing me now? In the name of now Jesus. you will sing that song one, two more minutes. Yes, sir. I want you to move your move. Carbos. Listen to me as you sing the song. Yes, sir. The angel of God Hallelujah. will enter your battle. Child of God, hear me. I am Jesus. here to tell you. No man trusts God that loses his battle. The battle may be tense, but you will not lose your battle. Am I taking to heal today? Shut up. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. Yes, sir. 
Can you pull mic in his mouth? Come, stand there. Say this after me. I saw you last night. The Lord opened my eyes. I began to pray in the verse of prayer. God opened my eyes. began to show me something about you. But say this with me. Say, I will leave. I will leave to celebrate. Amen. Say it loud. Say, use your hands, sir. Lose your hand. Say, I will leave. I will leave yes. to celebrate. To celebrate. Say, I will leave. I will leave to celebrate. To celebrate. That's the third time, right? You're gonna say it several times. Say, I will leave. I will leave to celebrate. To celebrate. That's the fourth time. Say, I will leave. I will leave to celebrate. To celebrate. That's the fifth time. Say, I will leave. I will leave to celebrate. To celebrate. Now the seventh time, you're gonna scream. Say, I will leave. To celebrate, you will run and come back here. Yeah, to to the seven say, I will leave. I will leave. To celebrate. To celebrate. Run and come back. Yakapata by Yakata. Lick it at the place. Listen to me, sir. Oh, Listen to me, sir. I use you as a point of contact. Anyone calling your name before any altar this morning, it backfire. Amen. Come on now. Wherever they are, if they are close to you, if they are your family member, anyone calling your name before any shrine this morning, it backfire. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lay my hands on you. Thank you, Lord. You will live and not die. I will go back to your sender. Just like you dance and celebrate, you will celebrate. Oh, Jehovah, you, you are, are the most, the most high God. High God. Jehovah, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are my excellence. I don't know. I'm sorry, church. It is what I can do. I'm okay. Say this with me, ma. Say untimely death. Untimely death. It's not my portion. It's not my portion. It can never be. It can never, never be. will it be. Never will yes. it be. In my blood. In my blood. Or my portion. You arrow. Yes. Of a timely death. Wherever, wherever you are coming from. Right now. Oh, from no. this altar. Come back to your center. Yes, Lord. Cabros. I release upon you the garment of preservation. You and your family, you and your children, your husband, everything that belongs to you. You are preserved by power. The Lord has given me authority to tremble serpents and scorpions and they shall by no enemies as me. I am walking dominion. To trample serpents and scorpions and they shall by no enemies at me. I am walking in dominion. Walking in dominion. Leave your seat. Leave your seat. Walk in authority. I am walking authority. Walking in the Walk, 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 walk in authority. I am walking, 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 walking in. I am walking authority. Lord, and they shall by no enemies hurt me. I am 
your hands. I pray in the name of Jesus, Amen. Christ of Nazareth, anyone that is under demonic beating, be beaten by a serpent in your dreams, by the authority that is in Jesus' name. Every marine spell, witchcraft spell, targeted and any living soul in this house, I hereby command their powers to be nullified. Amen. For the Bible says, God has highly exalted him and given a name above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Things on earth, things in heaven, and things beneath the earth. I command right now every power from the sea, every power from the ocean, every power from the whales, every marine arrows against anyone here. You are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered by fire. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand. You are Yahweh. 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 You are Bibles quickly, children of God, to the book of Romans, Romans chapter number eight. Legusi bratia vagadus, legesika brother. I came here angrily in my spirit. Romans chapter number eight. Ah, uh, we're gonna read from verse twenty-eight to twenty thirty-nine. It's a long scripture. Romans chapter number 8 verse 28 to 39 like nine verse are you there church put your eyes on the scripture everybody a time is good to open the book for yourself I read from this verse it says and when we know and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to whom who are called according to his purpose you must understand that you are called according to his purpose i explained a few weeks ago purpose is a reason for a thing ah purpose is a reason for something that is the purpose 29 say for whom he had for new or for no he has also predestined and to be confirmed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren it means you are selected among the crowd is somebody hearing me now moreover whom he did predestine then he also called and whom he called then he also justify whom he justify then he also glorify so let no man condemn you because there is no perfect mind anywhere let no man write you off from your little mistake because it is God that justified is somebody hearing me now don't even write yourself off for the mistake you know is a mistake you will enter into it either by pressure or by influence don't even kill yourself there because it is God that do that justified is someone hearing me now verse 31 what 
shall we then say to these things god be for us who can be against us so that's why i want to encourage somebody right now i don't know how tense your battle is like i said earlier if god is involved in your battle you must come out victoriously i'm talking to somebody here uh, he that spare not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him do what also give freely uh, give freely all things it's someone hearing me now so whatsoever you are asking god for that god has not done it now doesn't mean he will not do it is somebody hearing me now verse 34 whom he did condemned who he did commended in christ that died yet rather than he raised him again who is even at the right hand of god and also make it intercessor or what for me you must understand it is not only pastor praying for you you are not only the one praying for yourself uh you are, it's not only your prayer partner praying for you jesus is in that season for on your behalf there are some things that happen in your life and uh, you don't know why they happened if not for prayer i was battling over certain matters some few weeks ago and i was worried over certain things that needed to happen that is not moving fast in my own way because at times our way is not the ways of god it's someone hearing me now bible say as the heaven is higher than the earth so is my way and my thought higher than you so because we are impatient as human being we wanted things to go in our own way and i was not happy over the slow space of a particular thing i was back on it in ministry and also in business and i began to pray and the lord said to me son just look at where you are now let's assume you are not praying at all with all the prayer you are praying look at where you are let's assume you are not even praying where will you be it and i began to thank god listen to me child of god most of times with all the prayer you are prayed with all the sacrifice and seed you have sown just look at where you are let's assume you are not doing anything at all where will you be it means some of us would have been a written off and i began to say lord i give you thanks is someone hearing me now what verse are we now let me conclude i think verse 30 35 whom shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake will be a kid all day long. We are according as sheep that was we 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 as we as is written, for we as for thy sake we are kid all day long. We we are counted as sheep for what for the slaughter now that place is talking about prayer it's talking about prayer you must understand there are certain natural habits in that will not die from us until you begin to pray there are certain behavioral attitude that cannot die from you until you begin to pray there are certain activities of the flesh that you cannot conquer either by just reading the word of god until you begin to pray because each time you pray something dies from you that's what the bible says i think in john chapter 12 or so verse 24 except a corn of fruit fall into the garden and die it's a bank alone but if it dies it brings it much fresh fruit so anytime you go to god to pray something die out of you and this morning as we wait upon the long the place of prayer as we are believing god to manifest himself in the next 10 days in our life whatever that is not of god that is resident in your blood is die from you right now whether you are watching me or standing here every report given to you by medical doctors this morning it dies hallelujah verse 36 as at okay verse 39 37 nay in all these things we are what more than conqueror for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angel nor principalities nor powers not things present nor things to come nor height nor depths nor any of the creation shall be able to separate us from the love of christ which is from the love of god which is in christ jesus our lord father bless your word and give us revelation and inspiration in this steady business in jesus name we pray i want to talk when i call awakening the giant in you tell somebody awakening 
the giant in you now you must understand god did not create any man empty no matter the status of the man no matter the height no matter the color no matter the background no matter the race no man on earth is born or created empty is somebody hearing me now that you are empty around you your finance is empty you have debt to pay your credit card is piling is somebody hearing me now ROS I'm not return your tax exempt or I mean return your tax or you are in a debt with ROS or you are in a debt with a bank and you look around you now it looks as if you are empty you may be empty physically you are not empty spiritually is somebody hearing me now no man born of a woman under the surface of the earth is created empty know that very well there is a giant in every man and there is a giant in every woman and what i mean giant there is a being how do i know God can do nothing for you except he consult your spirit. It is your spirit that consult. They will agree with the Holy Spirit. If a man is born again, it is the spirit. God does nothing for you except your spirit is what consulted. Have you ever heard people say, I feel it in my spirit. That is the giant in you. You can kill the body, but you can't kill the spirit. And that is a giant in every man's life. The Holy Spirit only comes to empower the giant already in you. You know, when God created Adam and Eve, when Adam was in the garden, Adam began to name all the animals by the reason of the giant in him. child of God everyone under the surface of the earth there is a giant in you what do I mean by giant I am simply meaning of saying there is a force that is unstoppable ah, there is a mind that cannot be hindered now for those of you who grew up in Africa and some parts of Africa who by reason of your child just play or play and you began to play and at times you come across a dog have you ever saw the thing and suddenly the dog began to change you have you ever come to a situation and where the dog is chasing you there is a fence or a barbed wire naturally you can't cross that fence naturally you can't cross that barbed wire but as you begin to run something comes on you has it ever happened to somebody here it comes suddenly you cross that barbed wire suddenly you jump that fence and after jumping the fence you ask yourself how did i jump this fence? why because death was chasing you the giant in you rose up i am here to tell somebody let your giant stand up after you have crossed the fence you will not go back to that scene how did I? because as at that time you were running for death the giant in you arose listen people who die untimely choose to die people who are broke in life choose to be broke people who are poor in life choose to be poor because there is a giant in you that can face any situations of life can i tell you somebody in the realm of this giant nothing is impossible anything can be possible most of the times if the devil wants to weaken the giant in us is to stir up some battles is to stir up some attacks is to stir up some controversies and then your business 
in your family in your job or amongst your friends there could be some setup there could be some happenings there could there could be some unpleasant situations that is burdening you if the devil want to weaken our giant man of god the first thing they do they attack our mind somebody's in your mind somebody's in your mind the bible call it imagination this mind is bigger than america it's bigger than russia it's bigger than ukraine it's bigger than london it's bigger than spain it's bigger than any it's called mind it's called the imagination so nations are in this mind so if the devil wants to weaken the giant in us is to attack our mind and that's what the bible say as a man thinking in his mind so it is you can't go above your thought you cannot be prosperous above your thought you cannot be large above your thought when your mind is attacked your giant is weakened today everyone hearing me now or watching me now that your mind is attacked and lose your mind by fire your mind when your mind is attacked your giant is weakened is someone hearing me now when your mind is attacked because the bible say a double-minded man is unstable is all his ways so what the devil does the bible will attack your mind is someone hearing me now the devil will come up with a thought ah to make sure it cross your mind child of god i am here to tell you there is a giant in you that you need to awake today and when you wake your giant you will win your battle physical physical illustration of a giant we are told by scriptures and by histories that giants are more than six feet tall some don't have five foot some have six I studied history in Africa years ago in a state called Edo State. There's a giant that grew up in that particular city years ago. We were told that when the, when the giant wants to sweep the road, he breaks the pantry. You know the pantry? He breaks it to sweep. So giants are not normal beings. The first giant we saw in the Bible was Goliath. He was how many feet tall? 13 feet tall tall just imagine 13 feet tall that is a giant very huge up to this pole we are standing let somebody we have a, a visitor coming to the church and it's 13 feet tall some of you say pastor can you share the grace can you share the grace okay. some of you will go upstairs and be looking at the man it's of me i can't preach i'll be looking at the man giants so god is telling you that you're, you may be very small in your status, status, but what is in you is equivalent to 13 feet height. You may be four feet, five feet. What's the number of feet of a man? Is it six feet or so? Six. Now you may be four feet, even three feet, even two feet. Eh? But your giant is like 13 feet high. Now, them, no matter how powerful you are, when you see a 13 feet high man you are you are i'm not the word defended you the first thing you do you start everybody it commands attention am i right no matter who you are even the president himself will have won. so a 20 feet man is noticed in the crowd no matter how how massive the crowd is because he's sitting down is three people standing up so I mean, right? he's sitting down. The man of God said, let us sit down. He has sit down, but the man of God is seeing somebody tall. So he can be noticed. It means no matter the battles of your life, your giant is always noticed. Because you have not made use of it. That's why you feel you will lose that battle. Today, your giant shall be quickened. Why? Look at this. God naturally planted giant in us for battles god naturally planted giant in us to overcome trials of life god naturally planted giant in every man's life for his victory you must understand before your fight begin 
your giant is aware. Before your fight, what? Begin, your giant is aware. Now, let me go to the scripture we read. Ah, that talks about to whom he predestined. What they mean to predestine means you have been to be predestined means your destiny is already programmed. Predestined. That's what we call pre approval. And those of you who want to go for car note or whatever, it's called pre approval. Do you know pre approval gives you a confidence or a gust to look for something you like or want am i right so you are given access when you are pre-approved either by a bank to get a car or to buy a house you can call anybody and say i've just been pre-approved and so i, I gotta see that there is a force that moves you am i right so what god is saying here god has predestined you your destiny has been has been has been declared already is someone hearing me now and i've been declared that you are seeing some battles and your way of your destiny you are more than a conqueror and how do i explain more than him most of the time we think the fighter is not the conqueror is someone hearing me now at times well, let me explain conqueror most of you may have an idea of what i'm about to say right now okay, let me use pastor water for example now now let's say pastor water is my wife for example uh no let me not use you let me use the lady because uh, they have given room to all these um uh, okay mommy come they have given room to all these genalisms is someone hearing me now there is no genalisms in this church is someone hearing me? let's say this is my uh, my wife for example and i am a bosser or i'm a wrestler and there is there is a there is a, a particular chain or gold ring that is meant for me and i began to i go to the ring and i begin to fight and i fight and i fight i was given a trophy can you give me a bible anything like that like a trophy now now i was given this trophy by the result by the reason of my fight because i defeated people now to everybody in the crowd i am a champion he said this is the champion this is the winner and i get home i say honey i just won the battle i just finished the fight but can you take this gold chain or this gold belt now she's not the fighter she's not the champion she's more than a conqueror for me to hand over my victory to her it means there is something she's carrying that even the fighter that I carry, that I thought is not carrying. So when the Bible say you are more than a conqueror, it means when Jesus went to hell, when he died, he gave us the victory. So why are you feeling you win your battle? You are more than a conqueror. More. More. Say more. Say more. 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 Than a conqueror. Sit down. Now, this is where Jesus expects us to begin to operate from. Here comes the battle of our mind. So you are more because you did not fight. All she does, each time she, she just declares, she starts declaring. But you can't come to that realm of our life. We can't come to that understanding and revelation to our life as believers until we awaken the giant in us. And if you must awaken the giant in you, the first thing you have to deal with is your mind. Say my mind. Say my mind. I told us sometime years ago, that should be two years ago. I said the mind is faster than a jet. The mind can travel to eight place at the same time if i'm thinking now if i say just give your mind a chance those of you who want to clock in either by 2 p.m today i am here once it is 1 30 you start thinking i will drive 30 minutes i am still preaching oh the mind leaves you now your body is here your spirit is here the mind has left the church is already in green bed okay from green bed to my pork is 15 minutes okay i will, I will not get home 
happen for us change my is the mind the body is here the mind is in green bed the other mind has gone home is changing the mind is clocking in job and someone hearing me now and the same mind is thinking I, I have to send my uncle money in the village just the mind the same mind is thinking hey i did not prove food for my husband that is the power of the mind so if you can make use of the giant you have to arrest your mind say holy spirit say holy spirit arrest my mind the mind so when our mind is attacked the giant is working now let me quickly run this i want to give us a few tips of men and women who by reason of their understanding are waking their giant in them listen to me here this church not because i'm a pastor there is nothing you can't achieve if you want it if you mean it it may take time i'm telling you there is nothing you cannot achieve if it is a dream, it may take time. But most of the times, we give up our dream either by events. You now, each time they tell me, my pastors will tell me, my man of God, man of God, say, oh, pastor, don't worry, people will feel this place. I am not bothered, sir. Because I know it is something, it is not a prayer point. It is not something I'm fasting and pray for. Oh, Lord, Lord, set me on fire. If God set me on fire, the people will walk in by themselves. The Bible says, in the days of his power, the people shall be willing. So I am praying for, Lord, just set me on fire. Give me a crazy gift that is un unexplainable. Let a miracle this begin to manifest in this auditorium. People will walk in by then but if that must happen sir i have to stay in the place of prayer i have to burn in the place of prayer it's not one day it's not 24 hours it has to be a continuous thing it's somewhere in minimum a continuous thing you have to do until you get to that overflow and the angel now said, you are due for it. I give it to you. Because there are some people God give gifts, sir. God will lose them. They will lose their salvation because of the gift. So if I'm praying for a particular gift, God has not given to me. I still believe there is some immaturity in me. Maybe God is still dealing with that. To me, I'm not saying. I feel, oh Lord, I want it now. God said, no, not now. Mm. I give you the way you do so now. This is your gra -gra. You will, will gra, gra the gift. So hold on. We were told, if a woman is angry, an angry woman, as she begins to give birth, her anger starts coming down. Have you ever heard people like that? If a woman is an angry, as she begins to give birth, she begins, her anger begins to go down. Do you know why? As she has pushed twice in the delivery room, had no sleep for some nights, tried to program the children, her anger will start coming down. A man that is always going at back, back, every time he does not want to do any domestic work, by the time he has four children, in the village they told him, man, not they cook. Yeah, mad, may they cook. May they enter the kitchen. It's not the crime. You can be crying in your father's house. As you come here, you will enter the kitchen. You will cook. You will even wash plate with love. Is someone hearing me now? Lord, give me a wife that will give me bed in my teeth. You go wait, tired. This part, they don't give bread in the, they don't give tea in the bed. This part. Lord, I need a woman that will just give me bread. Yeah, she will give you the other bread in the tea. But the other bread, you will walk into and get the bread yourself. And one day, one of my pastor, I don't know, he was talking to mama. And mama told him, ah, when pastor wakes up in the morning, pastor will bath the children. Pastor will wear them, he will, he will, he will buy, rub them, this thing will dress them, he give them food. Pastor said, You say what? My pastor, you say, 
My pastor is the one buffing them. He's buffing them. He's dressing them. I will be dressing. No, I used to take time in my dressing. Pastor will buff them. Yes, I bathed even this morning. I took their bath, rub their cream, feed them, and came to church. If I'm lying, ask her. I said, you know how they go. You know, so you're home. So tomorrow, I don't go. He doesn't take anything. Am I right? It's not a marriage teaching. <laughs> the first man that wake up, that listen, if your husband don't go and go to go, don't leave home. Eh? If you see, I told you, no, please. If your husband is not doing it, just there's a way you you make him to do it. Yes, just carry the child. Help me, help me, help me put the diaper. Help me put the diaper. As you say, help me, just drop us. Help me pull. Then you drive. Come on. <laughs> That then he looked the diaper, looked the baby. The baby looked at him. He will learn how to put the diaper. <laughs> Hallelujah. The first man that, 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 that awakened the giant in it was Moses. Somebody say Moses. No, Moses was a child of prophecy because of time. I'm going to rush now in 10 minutes. Moses in, was a man of prophecy. You can see that I think in Exodus chapter number 2 from verse 10 to 11. Moses was a child of prophecy. Moses was an Hebrew. But Moses was taken in as an Egyptian and he grew up in the house of Pharaoh. But a day came that Moses discovered his true identity identity and bible say one day and he saw the egyptians uh, harassing the hebrew like the egyptian was beating the hebrew guy and the giant and moses arose and said who dare you touch this man and kill the so you can kill your enemy if your giant arose moses was the first man with that money, the consequences that will go or come after, he killed the Egyptian. The reason why they are attacking you, you have not killed them. This month of July, we will kill them. What happened to Mama last week? Ah! I entered the rain and bring her out. So you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Instantly, the spell left. Power. I will testify. I'm coming. Listen. The first man was Moses. Somebody say Moses. Moses was the first man that rose up and killed the Egyptians because the giant in him awoke. The second man that awoke up is Sam. Somebody say Samson. Samson. Samson was another man that awakened the giant in him. You can find that in Judges chapter 14 from verse 15 downwards. Samson was going to take a wife and met a lion. Listen to me, church. Samson, sir was going to marry a wife and saw a lion. Some of us will say, hey! That with my head not bad head. Rather, when Samson saw the lion, the giant in Samson arose, he slay the lion. When I got to this part, listen to this. The Lord said, Paul, say son, listen. On your way to destiny, on your way in trying to achieve things you must meet a stumbling block let me cancel us now listen church they can be spiritual they can be human they can be events you must not don't pray you must you must meet one stubborn she or he goat who says in this office I'm not signing your file today we will sign their life there are some they will they will take the file the file is being treated in a badge now they remove your file you know what it means to take somebody else's file and drop it somewhere else and when they are supposed to treat the badge it gets to your tongue. Your fire 
was taken out because somebody was angry or is angry it is normal it is normal in life whether in business or in your job or even in church or in ministry uh, is someone hearing me now there must be somebody you must meet uh the admin told me sometime weeks ago he said pastor you know i, I screamed here a few weeks ago i said they have approved us right we are now we are waiting to just begin to because i want to do this thing before and suddenly why i screamed out and feel that the, the, the admin called me and said pastor please pray i said what well, yeah, Pray for he said, I told you they have approved that. Yes, yes. He said, But a man took the fire, I wrote something on it, and they paused. Today, that man, I will pause him. I will pause him because I am not happy still saying this. I'm not happy, it cannot be the stage. They have approved it. The boss, a man, whoever has put an altar in your letter, this night they backfire. Reverend Fidelis will be with us a few weeks from now with a team called My Time Has Come. I'm not, what am I going to do? God said, when our father will be coming, he said, I'm coming to your church. With, with this thing like this, it's not possible. Because one over Sabi, they call it, they can be, they, they, they can be popnosa in the job. They know more than the government. Are you, they know more than the government. They pretend they are, they are very nosy people. You, they fight, they are in some places. Have you seen them? Very nosy people like that. Every matter they want to involve. If they are in your life, this night, they will sleep and not wake up. So you must understand there are people like that. So you must, that's what I mean. So how do you handle such people? You must awaken. That's what Samson did. Samson saw the lion and awaken the giant in him. Number three. Number three man we saw in the Bible was Joshua. Somebody say Joshua. Joshua, I would like to read this verse. Joshua chapter 10, verse 11 to 13. Pastor Walter, please. Somebody say, Lord, awaken the giant in me. Say, Lord, awaken the giant in me. Now, let me tell you how I win my battle in the place of prayer. Let me reveal a secret to you. How I win battles. I don't just, Mama God, sir, I don't just enter prayer. No, I don't pray like that. I pray, but I don't win my battle like that. If I am praying and I want results, I am telling you my secret. Hear this now. If I am praying over a matter and I want results in that matter, I don't just pray. I put my life on the line. Wow, wow. Well, I, I don't know how to describe it. Let's see I'm praying like. Okay. Have you ever had a man who say, instead of you to take me, instead of you to kill, kill, kill my son, kill me? Have you ever had things like that? Yes. There are people like that. I watched a film some time ago. They wanted to kill the son. The man said, no, instead of you to kill the son. So the man put his life, and it's time you put your life on the line, your life can't be taken. Scripturally, whoever shall lose his life for my sake shall do what shall gain it so whenever you put your life in a gospel you can they can't take it so if i'm in a place of prayer what i do shock up lord if i die here tonight without this result let me die that's my mindset and as i say that there is an engine that comes in me my prayer language change the tongue change as i begin to be eager like me when they attack me i say mama you are going nowhere i enter the realm of the dead as i enter the realm something happened today something was happening you know what it means for your wife to sit down and tell you Honey, take care of the children take care of this I have this money somewhere you know what is in my bank you know what to do have you come to that level your wife is telling you that and you will not carry a phone 911 911 you don't understand there are certain things that don't need 911 I told, when God, when God restored, I said to her, I said, listen, I said, you know how some people lose their wife and lose their husband? Because as of that situation, you were in between the realm. It is not 911. You don't address spiritual things with physical things. And I said, Zukapare, 
life 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 i enter the realm of the dead all you agents of darkness she's not going on her time has not come and as i began to share it power came on her today power will come on you Bathroom, have your bath. I bought the oil. I pour it on her. Her voice, she cannot talk. Suddenly, oh. and I said to her, Don't worry. I know what happened. I know the reason why. But on the first of July, I'm going to play a return match. You know, I'm not here for bolas. If you are beaten in their house, when they are coming, you are prepared for a return. So I said, what happened that night? I only just rescue you for prayer. But now I am coming for the first day of the program, first of July. I'm putting red and red. Now red and red until they come to that. The red and red. Red red shoe red shirt red trouser the first day of july i'll be here somebody say return if they are from your family if they are from my family if they are from the church if they are from your business contact i take your life Lastly, because of time, the fourth man that I saw in the Bible uh, was, was David. And I, I didn't say Joshua. Joshua woke up. How did Joshua arose the giant in him? Read Joshua chapter 10, verse 11 to 13 quickly. Look at how Joshua arose and quickened the giant in him over a battle of life. Read on, sir. Look at what Joshua said. Yes. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. As they fled before Israel. As they fled before Israel. And were in the going down of Behold. I mean the going down of Behold. That yes. the Lord cast down a great that stone. That the Lord cast down a great stone from heaven upon from them. From heaven upon yes. Azakah. Uh -huh. And they died. Yes. They were more than, they were more which died with hailstones. Listen over. Than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Okay. Then spake Joshua it's yes. to the Lord in the day. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day of his battle. When the Lord delivered up the Amorites. When the Lord will deliver your enemies to your hand this month of July. Before the children of Israel. Before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel. Son. Son. Stand. Hold on. Still. Still. Upon Gibeon. Upon what? Gideon. Is it Gideon or Gideon? No, upon Gideon. <laughs> upon Gibbon. Well, Gibbon. So let's convert it to upon Gideon. Move on, sir. Because just turn the B to D is Gideon. Move on, sir. And thou moved. And thou moved. In the valley of Ajalon. In the valley of Ajalon. And, and the sun and stood the sun. still. And the, that name from Mafia. Ajalon, that should be for Mafi. No, Ajalon, it's on the east. Ajalon, it's on the east side of Nigeria. Yes, move on, sir. And the moon stayed, and the moon still until the people had uh -huh. avenged themselves mm -hmm. upon their enemies. Mm -hmm. It is, is not this written mm -hmm. in the book of Joshua? Mm -hmm. So the sun stood still mm -hmm. in the midst of heaven. Mm -hmm. And hasted not mm -hmm. to go down mm -hmm. about a whole day. Move mm -hmm. verse 14. And there was no day Look at it. like it, like, or, it. like that before it, before it or after it. Or after it that the Lord that the Lord hearkened unto the voice. Hanking unto the voice of a man. Of a man. For the Lord. For the Lord. Fought for Israel. So take Joshua. Can I tell you, church? Anything can be possible. In the course of my work with God, in my few years in the I have seen some power that no matter the battles of life I see, I cannot be frightened 
Because I know the strength of the giant God has given us. Joshua awakened the giant in him. Too lastly, it was David. Because see that in Joshua, Isaiah, David was another man who stood and quickened the giant in him. You can find in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 34 to 37. That was David. The Bible said, and David was keeping his father's flock. And a lion came. And a what? A lion came for attack. And a deer came. What is a deer? A deer talks about your past. Most of times in our life, our past haunt us. When I mean your past, your background, where you are coming from, your foundation, your your father's out is regarded as your past the bible said and the bear and the lion came after the flock and the giant of david arose and went after him and slew both the lion and the bear so child of god there is a giant in you you can wake up this morning i don't know you are hearing me now you are discouraged or you are thinking god is not coming from you after this morning may your giant arose by fire Lastly, as I close, there was a woman in the book of Esther, chapter 4. In such chapter 4, in such chapter 5, her name was Esther. The Bible said, and there was a man called Haman. And Haman brought the news and said, I'm going to kill all the Jews in that period. And the matter was brought and they told Mordecai. And Mordecai went to tell Esther that Haman has plot to kill all of us. On one day to be hung and killed. And the Bible said, and Esther said, I am going to do something. But Esther said, I have a problem. You cannot see the king if the king did not send for you. If you see the king without an invitation, you will die. Esther said, I am going to speak to the giant in me. If I perish, I most of times, if you put your life on the line, you are not dying. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's just like a man make up his mind to succeed. A man make up his mind to succeed. How? Or you wake up and say, I, in this life, I can't be poor. It's a decision. You have to act it. You have to work it. I can't be poor. So Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Esther chapter 5 from verse 1. Uh, let's see the scripture, then we close, Pastor Water. Esther chapter 5 from verse 1. Look at what Esther did. I might talk to somebody here. You will wake up the giant in you now. After this service, go to your house. Call your phone. Call your boss. Call that company again. Call them again. Ask them, what did you just say? Do you say you will not approve my papers? What did, why are you delaying me? I, say, I am telling you. I am telling you now. Call the company again. Call the boss again. Say, I am. I have been waiting. What is going on? I need an answer this month. And they will give you an answer. I discovered something in this country that if you are timid, you will be used. Even if you are very timid, eh, they will take advantage of your timidity and of your ignorance and rob you of what is yours. So at times, in the phone, you are not arrogant. You say, I don't know, I don't get you. Can you, talk, can you. can you connect me to your manager or your boss? They say, they will say, this one what is talking. I was, I was holding a credit card and I did them um, um, payment to the bank. So, the money has left. It does not appear. I don't know why. They called me the first day. They announced the money. I said, yeah, the money has gone. They called me. So, can they talk and they come? I said, what are you talking about? I said, I've sent the money. He said, I said, he said, he said, he said we'll keep calling. if you try, call me again. If you try, I have, I have, I have sent that money. It is not appear. The money better appear because it's not my account. Do you want me to show you my account? It, it, I gave them the date. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And for the past four days, they didn't call again. 
Now that's just a small one. That's just a small one. But I'm talking about other things. If you take if you are so teeny, don't don't be like all this like you know, we are we are not you are not African. I say you are not African, you are Zion. Say I'm a Zionite. Read on, sir. Now it came to pass. Yeah, it came to pass. On the third day. On the third day. That Esther. That Esther. Put on her royal apparel. Put on her third day. You put on your royal apparel. And stood in the inner court. And stood in the inner court. Of the king's house. Of the king's house. Over against the king's house. Mm -hmm. And the king sat upon his royal and throne. the king sat upon his royal throne. In the royal house. In the royal house. Over against. Over the gates. The gates of the house. Without being invited by the king. And it was so. And it was so, sir. When the king saw Esther. When the king saw Esther. The queen. Yes, standing in the court. Standing in the court. That she obtained favor. That she obtained favor. Hold in on, sir. his sight. The king did not saw Esther. When the king saw the giants, <laughs> because it takes giant for Esther to appear when she's not invited. So when the king saw Esther, he saw the giant. Move on, sir. And the king held out what was in his hand and the king held out to Esther uh -huh. the golden scepter yes. that was in his hand uh -huh. so Esther Stretch for drew her. near and, and touched touch. the top of the scepter now normally as the king stretched the scepter it is you as his pointed, you are commanded to die because you are not invited but Esther used the giant in her and because the head of the staff is judgment if you are appointed to the king like this it means you are commanded to die as the scepter was coming esther esther put forth the hand and heard the deaths look at then said the king then send the king unto her unto her what would thou what would thou queen esther queen esther and what is that request what is that request it shall be given thee you don't understand sir you don't understand this when she put forth her hand and touched the dead and put a stop to the dead the queen asked a question what what do you want you don't want to die because the giant in her arose stand on your feet say lord say lord say lord say lord awaken the giant in me you are sleeping some of us are sleeping one hour prayer with our father and the lord is not enough one hour prayer 12 to 12 to 1 that is not a prayer that is for children that want to go to school it's not hearing me now children that is not a prayer one hour prayer for you as a family man as a businessman is not enough what is one hour is somebody hearing me now you must develop a prayer life that must sustain you and your home a man of god was talking some days ago he said i pray for miracle People I pray for people we will get healed he said when i pray for them they don't just get healed because i pray for them he said before i pray for them i have spent time in the place of prayer so when i stretch forth my hand there is a relationship there is a realm that operates that emanates from the time that i spend that manifests in the physical that is it's applicable to us lift your hands on fire right now i will give you two prayer say my father my father my father my father in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, awaken, awaken the giant, the giant in, me. in me. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, awaken, awaken the giant, the giant in me. In me. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, awaken, awaken the giant, the giant in me. In me. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, awaken, awaken the giant, the giant. Open your mouth, begin to pray. You are Jehovah. Awaken the giant in me. Open, make it a prayer. You are the mighty man Wherever I have been sleeping in life, Holy Ghost, awaken the giant in me. You are the mighty man of war. You are 
certain things in your life. Certain things is just slippery in your hands. Things are just awkward in your eyes. You're going to pray right now. Whoever whoever or whatsoever has taken my case as their project as I pray now let the giant in me arose and let their Powers be frustrated. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Whoever, whoever has taken, has taken my life, my life as a project, as a project, the life, my life of my family, of my family, as a project, as a project. As I pray now, as I pray now. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I wait, I wait. The giant, the giant in me, in me. I bring the power, I bring the power. Do not do not my fire, my fire. To prayer, my prayer. Whosoever is taking the life of my pro of my family as a project, Holy Ghost, arise! The giant in me, O God. Whosoever is taking the life of my pro of my family as a project, Holy Ghost, arise! The giant in me, O God. Whosoever is taking the life of my pro of Jesus. If you are here with your head, can you move out here quickly? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can you help me with this song? After that one, yes. What, what's the meaning of that song? What's the meaning of that song? Okay, what's the meaning? Everybody testify. Okay, lift your hand. There's somebody, God is showing me somebody. I'm coming, hold on. There's a woman, God is showing me something there. Lift up your tights. Lift up, Father, I speak over the tights of your people. 